so ritesh is unaware about uh, arduino pro micro board connected to his computer and i'll try to send signal from here to lock his computer i'll send l and let's see his reaction what happens la bodu ban kar diyo tumhe la haathu ma bodu ban thai gyo tumhe ch kar laya This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now if I tell you one very interesting feature of this software then here in LTM designer you can design rigid flex PCB. Now what is that? So till now you must have designed the PCB which has like rigid like solid PCBs if you are not able to bend. But here in LTM you can design a PCB in which some of the parts are rigid solid and some of the parts are flexible which can bend and the PCB can you know uh, we can bend it in a two fold manner just like the modern day smartphone right. So this is a really very interesting useful and unique feature of the software. Well you can also try out this and many other unique and interesting features of this designer software by just clicking on the link. mentioned in the description yes by clicking on the link you'll get access to the free trial version of this software so go ahead try out the free trial version of ltm designer software so in the last video we learned how to use arduino pro micro board as a keyboard and in the end we made a project that will automatically subscribe to a particular youtube channel on which the board is connected with now let us move ahead with this video So that was all about using Arduino Pro micro board without any wireless communication. And now I will let you know how to use uh, this board with the help of HC05 Bluetooth module. Now it's not that straightforward as compared to other uh, Arduino related boards. It's just because, as I said in the starting of the video, that this board is based on Atmega 32U4 chip, which has the built-in USB communication, and that's why the built-in USB communication takes the default serial port or default UART port. You can say, okay. So if you connect this SC05 model directly to the RXTX pin of the Arduino board, it won't be communicating at UART zero. It's just because the pins that are exposed are connected to the hardware serial one, or you can say the UART one of this Atmega chip. Okay, and this goes same with the Arduino Leonardo board as well. So to use the HC05 model in both this board is kind of a similar method, and I will let you know how to do that. So first of all, you have to connect this HC05 model with the Arduino micro board, like a Pro micro board, with this connection diagram. <laughs> After connecting, just open up the Arduino IDE, go to Files. go to examples go to communication and go to multi serial communication example so here is that example code here i uh, will set the serial communication that serial begin to ln 5200 now this is the serial communication between the laptop and the arduino micro board okay and serial 1 dot begin will be set to 38400 and this is the communication between the hc05 module and the arduino pro micro board so i can see the difference both are the different UART communication, okay, and this is happening at serial one. And why three eight four double zero? It's just because this is the default baud rate set for the H zero five module, okay. So that's pretty much it. By using this code, you can now easily communicate your Bluetooth model with the Arduino Pro micro board. Let me show you the uh, like working of this code. First of all, I'll select the right board and right port, and directly hit the upload button. So in the meantime, let's just download one uh, Bluetooth communication application on an Android smartphone. And in my case, I already downloaded, which is Serial Bluetooth Terminal. I will attach the link of this application in the description. Uh, but before, like using this application, we have to connect our smartphone with the HC05 model. For that, open up Bluetooth settings, uh, refresh, uh, click on the refresh button, which will search for the HC05 module, and uh, let's click refresh again. Okay, so here is the HC05 model. I'll click on it to start pairing the uh, device. it is asking for the password so default password is set to 1 2 3 4 click on okay and it's successfully paired now open up that application uh, click here go to devices and click the hc05 device it says connection failed let's try it again go to devices click on hc05 okay it is successfully connected now let me just open up the serial monitor okay so here is the serial monitor now if i send any data from this mobile app it should reflect onto the serial monitor let's just try it out if i send one as you can see the one is reflected if i send like uh, uh one two three as you can see uh, it is directly reflected on to this uh, terminal that means we are successfully able to communicate uh, like attach the bluetooth model with the arduino pro micro board now what i'll do is i will make a different code in which what will happen that as soon as we you know send the data l the character l from the smartphone it will run a script to log the computer uh, on an arduino pro micro board so let me show you that code as well and i'll let you know the working of that as well 
Okay, so here is the code that will lock your computer as soon as you send the L data from the uh, smartphone. Let us try to understand this code line by line. So first of all, we have began the serial communication uh, at 11500 baud rate between our Arduino boot and computer and at 38400 baud rate between the H05 module and our Arduino board. Okay, pretty common that we already uh, like discussed previous uh, in the previous code. After that, here is the function that is also discussed in the previous code. After that, what we are doing inside the loop part is we are just checking if there is any data coming from serial one. That means is there any data coming from the Bluetooth model? If it is so, just save that data into a variable called as data from master. After doing so, uh, check if the data from master is capital L or is it a small L. If it is uh, anything from this both mentioned here, just call the function called as log. And inside the log function, what we are doing is we are typing one command called as command shift Q, which is a shortcut to log out from the user in a Mac OS system. Okay, so I just uh, type this command here. And after typing that, I released all the buttons. And after that, here as you can see, I have pressed the enter button quite a lot of times, like three, four or five times maybe. Why is it so? It's just because as soon as we try to log the computer or log out from a user, it asks to save some of the pending files. So what I did is I just pressed enter for a couple of times, which will save different, different files opened up and then it will automatically lock the computer. So this is kind of to be on the safer side. Okay. And as you have noticed here, I haven't mentioned the code for the Windows user. It's just because it's kind of assignment for you guys. Like, go ahead, try to like find the shortcut to lock the computer in the Windows system and add that command here and just upload the code, enter that uh, Arduino mode to your friend's computer and let me know the reaction inside the Instagram stories maybe. So that's kind of, uh, that is a kind of assignment for you guys. That being said, let us try to upload this code onto my Arduino board. First of all, I'll select the right board and right port. Selected. I'll hit the upload button. And in the meantime, I'll open up my Android smartphone and start the screen recording in this mode as well. I'll open up that uh, serial, uh, Bluetooth serial application. And uh, hopefully it is connected with my... Uh, model. Okay, it is already connected. And yes, our code is also uploaded. Now what I'll do, I'll simply press L here and I'll press the enter button and let's just see what happens on our computer. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, so like I, I, I'm sure you won't be able to see the screen recording because it's already uh, like saved automatically by the computer and now, now my computer is in the lock position if you can see okay so yeah our script ran perfectly fine and this is how you can uh, you know make different different kind of script and you can run those script wirelessly using the bluetooth smartphone by sending the commands as per your choice okay so yeah that was all about getting started with this craziest arduino board arduino pro micro board and i also let you i also taught you how to use it with the wireless bluetooth module I hope you find this video interesting and useful as well. And as I said in the starting of the video, or maybe I not, I don't know, but I am planning to make a very interesting, useful project using this Arduino Pro Micro board for which I just bought this board. So just stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you want to see what that next project is about. Okay, it's about Arduino Pro Micro board with the H05 module. So think what can be its application and also let me know like what kind of crazy application are coming in your mind after watching this video do that drop them out in the comment section of the video let's just see which is the best or which is the craziest idea we can get from our audience that being said i'm just ending this video here now just wait for my to explore learn share with me techie sms